Well, hey there, everyone. It's me, Esther Barkey. Listen, I'm here. I'm spilling another one of my dirty secrets on where I was not confident in <laughs> my life because, you know, sometimes people meet me and they're like, wow, you're so brave. You're so courageous. You're so confident. And yes, I am in many areas of my life, but like many people, I can have those areas where I'm like, eh, not so much. And years and years ago, I was not confident at all. Um, I was confident in schooling. I knew I could get good grades and I was smart and that was where I hung my hat. But I didn't have confidence in any other area of my life. Um, I didn't feel I was really capable or able or lovable. And I just, I, for everything for me was I had to get really good grades and be smart because that was the only area that I felt confident in. Okay. Especially in public school, high school, university. Um, then I went to college. I did all kinds of courses after that. And like I said, it's where I hung my hat until I had my personal growth awakening and I started to do inner work on myself and really troubleshoot and, and re-engineer those limiting beliefs that I held about myself and my abilities. And so through that, my confidence and self-esteem has grown. And now I have a great toolbox <laughs> to rely on when something comes up. But one of the areas I just had absolutely no confidence was technology. Now, I grew up in an era where technology was not an issue at all until it became an issue. And I think the first time I had a waffle that I wasn't confident with technology was uh, when we all started getting VCRs, <laughs> right? And you had to plug them into the TV and, and, and then plug it into the wall. And I would look at these instructions and it was like a foreign language to me. Um, thank goodness at that time I had my dad who could do all of these things, but I would just look at anything that was technology and go, oh my God, I can't do this. I cannot do this. I don't understand it. I'm not capable. I'm not able. I would say things like, oh, I'm not technology smart. I'm not math smart. I'm not science smart. Um, I'm English. I'm geography. I'm, I'm history. I would make excuses for myself. I would rationalize it. But really, there was no reason why I could not open up a manual and figure out how to hook up a VCR and then a DVD player and then a PVR and then, oh my goodness, I got my first desktop uh, computer and again, ah, I don't know this. I, you know, it was, I was very, very insecure about it. Okay. Now there, when it really hit home was when I, opened up my business and I started to help people change their beliefs. And the first step in that was creating a website. Of course, I had somebody design that website for me, but then I had to figure out how to put a blog post on, um, make minor changes. So I wasn't always running off to the web designer and, you know, at the mercy of them having time for me, I had to learn a few things. So I said to myself, okay, Esther, you don't have to know everything. You're not here. You don't have to write code, but let's learn the basics to empower ourselves and not always be dependent on someone else and their timing to help me out. And so the first step I did was I turned within and I connected with the part of me that felt insecure about technology, that looked at instructions and went, ah, right? Because that was, that was a definitely a learning block. And it was really fear of looking silly, looking dumb, not so much failure, but looking dumb. Because remember I had hung my hat on being smart. That was what boosted my self-confidence for so long. So I can't look dumb because then that would create an issue 
with at the time, like in the, my past was the only reason that really gave me any self-worth, which is self-esteem. Okay, you see that connection? So I can't muck with the being smart thing. So let's avoid anything I might not be smart at. Otherwise, I'm just going to be a puddle. I'm nothing. I am nothing. That was pretty much the core belief at the bottom of it. So I did a lot of inner work in that area. But also, I had to take the steps. I'm like, okay, I'm doing this inner work. So let me challenge myself. Let me get something with instructions, right? Go to Ikea, get something with instructions. Prove to myself I can take it step by step and put this together. Okay, I need to do something on my website. I need to do something on the computer. Let's start small. Let's do something and build that confidence. Did I always get it right? No. Did I have to often ask for help? Sure, I did. But I was not stymied anymore. Right? I was not stymied anymore. And every time I took a step, I built stronger and stronger inside of me confidence and self-esteem in regards with working with technology. Now, here I am today and, you know, some people look at me and say, oh my gosh, you know so much about how to do all these programs and computers. And I actually know very little. I just know a little bit more than they do. Okay. I still rely on people to help me. But in the moment when I need something or need to do something and there's no one around, I am very capable and able of you know, Googling how to do this, take it step by step and accomplishing something or getting to a certain point and saying, okay, I got myself to a certain point. Now what do I do? But I still hold the confidence that I can take it through to the end. All right. And I'm able to do so much more than I could years ago. And this really hit home for me just within the last three weeks because there was a program that I was using for my business that all of a sudden kind of became def defunct. And I was said, okay, we're all switching to this. And I was like, oh, I learned all of that and I got to learn something else. Now I could have went, oh, and then carried that, you know, just carried it on and it would have gotten momentum and I would have felt very discouraged. But anyhow, I had my initial, oh, I don't want to learn another program. <laughs> and then I stopped and I said, okay, but I have to. I have to. Okay. In this instance, I had people who could guide me, but I didn't have someone to do it for me because I had to learn how to do it myself. And what came to mind was I learned the old program. I can learn this one. And because I have self-confidence and a little bit more self-esteem now than I had before, I knew it. We're just going to take it step by step. We're going to ask questions. I might not get it right perfect the first time, but I will figure it out. And after three weeks, I would say I'm almost there. And again, I'm like, yes, I did it. And the moment I have that, yes, I did it. The next thing that pops into my mind is what else are we going to do? If I did this, what else can I do? And it just, it keeps expanding me and moving me on even beyond technology to other areas of my life. Okay. So doing the inner work and combining with that activity to prove to yourself that you are capable and able and being gentle with yourself along the way, because it, it's not going to be perfect the first time out really builds inner confidence and self-esteem. And this is what we are going to do in the upcoming 30 day program. I am going to be hosting build and boost your self-confidence and self-esteem using teachings and psychological principles, law of attraction principles, energy work, spiritually mentoring, uh, core belief therapy, which of course is my foundation, my expertise and all of the work that I do. And then also home assignments and activities, all of this as a bundle working together to take you to the next level of self-confidence and self-esteem in your life. 
right? I'm going to be doing the exercises with you. We're going to have a group sharing board where you can share your experiences, ask questions, interact with other like-minded. Uh, there's going to be email sent right to your inbox with the teachings and the home assignment. And this time around the complimentary videos that I do, I'm going to post them on YouTube. We're going to try something new on a private link. So everyone has access to it. And then if you want to add in a private session with me, we can go even deeper and do even more good work. So I'm going to put a link below. You can check out all the details, sign up. The program starts real soon, November 1st. I hope to see you there. And we're going to say, yes, <laughs> yes, I did it. Maybe just signing up for this program is your, yes, I did this. I signed up for this program. I'm going to do this. And that is already the first step in building and boosting your self-confidence and self-esteem. All right, everybody, I hope this is helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions about self-confidence, self-esteem that I can address in an upcoming video to support our entry into these 30 days. I always love to hear from you. Um, ciao for now.